A little while ago, I made a video discussing why I thought Spider-Man would have been a perfect character to be had in the DC universe, and I wanted to kind of continue this kind of series because you guys really did seem to enjoy that specific video. And so what I'm actually going to be discussing today is why I think Spider-Man could have actively fit so well and would have been actually an amazing fit for the Invincible universe. And obviously there's going to be a lot of differing opinions on this. So I'm going to be free and let you guys be free to go down and comment your opinions down in the comment section below. But I'm just going to say this specifically because one, it is an actual possibility since their worlds are connected in the same universe in a sense. And like we've seen Invincible literally meet Spider-Man in the comics on an occasion. So it's not like completely out of the far realm of possibilities or plausibility. So I actually just wanted to discuss why I think this is like so good of an idea. So obviously Mark and Spider-Man Peter specifically would most likely be fairly good, amazing friends, especially if they're around the same age group while Spider-Man's like around. If like he's a high school student, if he's like around the same age as Mark and they're able to get to know each other. They would be amazing friends, and I mean amazing friends in totality. Their characteristics are fairly similar, and while yes, Peter is a little like way smarter in like a lot of aspects, but they still have this big, huge, huge knack of wanting to protect people and trying to like make sure they're doing the best thing for the people that they care about. And once like Mark actively gets his powers and is actively starting able to do all of those things, if, if Peter has his abilities too, it's going to be an amazing thing for them because like they're, they would most likely be amazing friends in this. I'm going to completely keep saying that because their personalities honestly would mesh so well together. And at least for the beginning part of the series, Spider-Man would be an actual decent asset to someone to like Mark to have or to anybody to have. And as we would actively get into more and more of Invincible, yes, he would most likely get faded away to obscurity a little bit. But he would be one of like Earth's better heroes in terms of like actual being a hero instead of being something like Omni Man, who isn't truly a hero and is just like kind of being a uh, Viltrumite spy or whatever, or having all of these more chaotic terms of villains that we have and things like that. Spider-Man obviously wouldn't be a character that would most likely even associate himself with someone like Cecil or anyone in general and would probably just like be one of his own more free agents. There's the only possibility that I even see him joining any of these bigger organizations if, if Mark already has joined and they're close enough friends where Mark's like, I want you on my team. Let, let's work together. And that's how like I see Pete ever joining any of these teams whatsoever. Pete is way too smart and strategic and doesn't usually like working with anybody enough to even consider doing things like that. So him even considering to go, oh, yeah, let me work for like these high tech government types that are just going to completely piss me off in every singular format wouldn't be something that he would even consider doing. And like, as I've already said, for a good portion of this, I honestly don't see Peter being way too much of a use because this is a very, very dark universe for someone like spider-man to be completely in like if he was raised in this universe he would obviously have to completely change his mind and change how he works for him to even consider being a perfect fit for this he would have to become a more darker version of peter that we've been able to see that is actively able to do more of the darker and grittier things because a normal base peter that we've come to know and love would be way out of place or feel so out of sorts because he's way too kind-hearted and wouldn't do what it needs to be done and honestly just wouldn't do what a good portion of these individual characters do on a daily basis or do in any specific format they do too much dark stuff in terms of killing or in terms of their methods it's just not something peter would actively be able to even think about doing or contemplate saying okay yeah, this is exactly how i'm going to do it and i would do it the exact same way every single time so what i honestly see most likely happening and what would be even better fit if it's like a sort of symbiote peter where either he has the black suit or something that changes his personality to be way more dark gruesome so 
he has his still Peter Parker brain and his actual mindset, but is willing to kind of go a little more bully mode and a little more dark, gritty and do more things that inquire like spilling blood or doing anything that the Invincible Universe actually sees more fit to be doing. Obviously, I'm going to keep saying this and saying this um, completely. Him and Mark would be friends, but the biggest problem with that is Omni-Man is the issue. Omni-Man's way too strong and the Viltrumites specifically are way too strong for Peach to even be considering, but we know that Spider-Man's strength is incredibly strong, but it just doesn't compare to something like the Viltrumites or Al and the Alien or a good portion of any of the outer worldly threats that Spider-Man would have to deal with. So he would most likely be one of those things where we could have like if something like, oh, yeah, Mark wants to leave for a little while and leave Earth in steady hands. Spider-Man's probably your go to guy, because even if people want to consider him a street level hero, he has incredible strength. So a good portion of people, Spider-Man's able to use his full strength is going to be decently helped out. But he just doesn't compare in terms of strength to someone like any of the Viltrumites. He would be decent enough and be uh, helpful enough to taking care of any of the earthbound threats and any of the normal threats that aren't going to be too strength heavy or too like death heavy, like armies or whatever, or like just completely like an entire armada coming over. So he would just kind of be one of the people that is more of a big help. But obviously, once we get to things like, oh, the variants and all of the multiversal shenanigans, Pete again or wouldn't be able to do an extreme amount against all of the other marks or all of like the just the different things that would be going around because he just doesn't compare in strength. So he would kind of be more screwed over in so many different situations and so many different facets. But as I said, he would just be an amazing fit because of the characteristics and that the people that he would actually mesh so well with characters like Guardian of the Globes, maybe, or specifically Mark's team and all of the other people that would be around his age, like Adam Eve, Rex or any of the other people. He would mesh fairly well with them because Pete is just like able to actively usually get most people to like him fairly straight up and get a lot of people to actively enjoy his company and just like hanging out with him in any forms and formats. So I honestly see them all just kind of meshing well so, so perfectly and him kind of just getting an upgrade and learning new things, being able to kind of gain a lot more strength and train in a lot of different ways that he would never be able to train in any way in his own universes. But Please tell me what you guys think. How do you guys think Pete would be able to fare in the Invincible Universe? I honestly know that this is a short video, but there's not really much to discuss because besides the fact that I think that he would be good friends with most of the characters, he's not able to do too much in terms of later on in the story as time goes along because one, he doesn't have the lifespan of someone like Mark or any of the Viltrumites, or he doesn't have the strength compatibility to be able to deal with any of the Viltrumites anyways. So he's only has like such a high threshold that he would be able to reach and high threshold that he can even be able to consider doing and not just completely get himself killed in every single situation in every single format where he's just like, oh, let me try it doing this. Let me try helping this out. Die or anything else like that. But please tell me what you guys think about this in the comment section below and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.